you started a home renovation project and you kind of ran out of steam. That's right, Joe. I underestimated how much time it would take. You bit off more than you could chew and you failed. Yeah. Say it. Oh, I... I failed. Yeah, you did. Now let's go take a look inside. All right. So what we're going to do in here, Larry, is we're going to completely redo the kitchen because this thing is living in the 90s. Yeah, it's it's pretty outdated. Now I know you like to cook, so we're going to give you a brand new kitchen island. How's that for counter space? Oh, yeah, that sounds fantastic. And what we're also going to do in the corner is give you a little breakfast nook. Now that's going to be perfect for having your morning coffee and scrolling through Reddit on your phone. How did you know? I do that. Pretty common behavior. Let's go check out the main bedroom. Okay. Now, Larry, I'm just gonna say it. This thing's living in the 90s. Yeah, it's it's old. So we're gonna slap on a fresh coat of paint and give you some nice wooden beams on the ceiling. Love that. That'll tie in nicely to a wooden wall-mounted backboard for the bed, complete with a little shelf for your sleep apnea machine. Did I tell you about the sleep apnea? I don't remember telling you about the sleep apnea. What's more is by pushing out this wall by two feet, we can fit a king size bed in here, Larry. Oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, and that's gonna be perfect for Tuesday night date nights with your wife, Samantha. What? You know, the one night a week your marriage counselor said you should set aside for some intimate couple time. Keep that flame alive. Okay, that's really personal. Now, this is the spare bedroom, and I mean, living in the 90s much? How do we change rooms like that? Since you and Samantha don't seem to be able to conceive, we're gonna turn this into a walk-in closet. Um, complete with a tie rack for you and ample storage for Samantha's C cups. What? Her bras, her 36 C bras, Larry. Okay, how did you know that? Now for the entryway, which is fing living in the 90s. Well, we're gonna wanna put some kind of catch all here. So when you get home, you just toss the keys to your 2013 Honda Accord, which does need an oil change, by the way. Stop, please stop. You'll be able to just empty your pockets in there, whatever's in there, like your prescription chewing gum for persistent halitosis. Hey, or your social insurance card. Hey, now Larry, let's go check out the bathroom. No. Let's go. Let's go check out the bathroom. I don't want to. Let's go check out the bathroom. No. Even in the 90s, I'm gonna install a reinforced toilet in here, Larry, because of how big your bowel movements are. Why are you doing this? I mean, these things are alarmingly huge, Larry. You really should see a doctor. Stop. Also, I'm thinking subway tiles on the wall. Please get out of my house. Now outside in the backyard, which is somehow living in the 90s, I wanna put a state-of-the-art yet classic-looking tree house. A tree house? We don't have any kids. No, that's for me. What? Yeah, I think that'll be much comfier than the bushes I've been watching you guys from. I'm calling the cops. But we're best friends, Larry! Mm -hmm.